What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm about to get a brand new exhaust on my 2024 Acura Integra Type S. So the exhaust that I'm going with is going to be a Miltec catback exhaust. I can't wait to hear it. So I'm here at ARC Auto Renting Cars. So check out their website. I'll link them in the description below. They sell cars, performance based cars as well. And then they're going to do my install here. So stay tuned for that. And before you get comfortable, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, about the channel. Let's jump into it. So we have these huge giant boxes from Miltech. This one is about uh, a little bit shy than five feet. And then we have this one down here, which I assume is the exhaust. So we'll be checking that out in just a moment here. So one shipment, two packages. So let's see what it's like when it's on the car. Packaged up. Set out to the Lotus. Got some chunky tips on there. Huge tips. We got a whole lot of box, but not a whole lot inside. So I made sure it was well insulated so it doesn't get scratched up, which I really don't care, but that's great to know that it's well taken care of. Oh, damn, got more piping underneath. All right. More than I expected, but all right, let's get it put on. Up under the Integra Type S, we got oil leaks. Shame on that here, but we are about to do this cat back anyway. So that's the front of the cat. We're gonna come on down, go all the way to the back. We got our mid muffler right there, coming on back. This is a long car, man. <laughs> and then we have all the three of our mufflers in the back. So this is the part, some, some companies make an exhaust wear drones that'll come from not having these mufflers. Those mufflers are essential for not having drone. We got our three giant exit tips. So we're about to get all of this removed. So we got to remove the shielding first before we can get access to the cat back and then we'll start taking the exhaust down. This is an exhaust video, but you can see the oil leaking somewhere from the top on down. Hacker, we I gotta make an appointment to talk to y'all real soon, very soon. And it's even on the shield down here. So we got oil up on the shield up underneath once we took that down. Let's see, man. You can really see it here. You got a lot of oil. What's been going on? Yeah, I got to see the dealership ASAP. Looks terrible. But back to the exhaust. <laughs> Stock piping is off and on the ground. This thing is long. No funny jokes, please. Especially you, race car 21, race car friends. But this is the module to open and close the valves that we have to remove from this one and put on the new exhaust because that is an impertinent part of this installation. So let's get the new exhaust going on up. Actually, we have to uninstall this piece as well. Didn't catch that at first, but the new exhaust is going to require that, so that's coming down as well. On the left, we have the stock exhaust. On the right, we have Miltec. So you're going to notice immediately how much bigger the diameter is on the Miltech on the right side. And then we're also going to notice that we have our resonator, which the Miltech doesn't have, that we do have on stop. Coming on back, stepping over these mufflers. Man, these already have big exhaust tips. These are even bigger. And I went with the black exhaust tips because it kind of matches the car. Could have got carbon fiber, which is very pricey or titanium, burnt titanium or another form of titanium, but the blue would be kind of off. But there we go before it gets put up. So we have a problem in the install. It's not a problem, it's a trouble point. It's not as straightforward as we thought it would be. So this little piece right here is gonna go in the, uh, the valve actuator and it should lay in here to uh, actually impede or slow down the amount of time it takes to actuate it just for safety reasons. And this is the actuator itself, and it would go upon these, uh, oops, knocking that down, be able to bolt up to these. But the stock one is much more flat as opposed to this one that we got from Miltech. So what we're going to do with this one from Miltech, we're going to put it in this clamp here and press it down a little smaller so we can fit everything in here together. So this is where the valve actuator goes. 
and this is Miltex extension as you can see we have this groove here to where you would normally clip something but on the opposite side the clip would be for this portion here so that is backwards notice that on the install so got to mark them down on that this clip is backwards on here it connects this way so it's not going to be as tight install is all complete down up under here all the way from the front we're about to button up these dust covers and head all the way back to the back the fitment is pretty good until we get about here in which the way that we wanted to adjust it it would have been touching the heat shield so we had to angle it so where it didn't so it's kind of slightly at an angle a little bit lower but we still should be safe not to scrape at the bottom and then coming on to the back everything is looking nice solid we got the mill tech down up under here stamped up in there and then the best part the exhaust tips so you can see the valve is open right now but let's get everything buttoned up and started up and see how we sound here inside the car for a little bit and this is comfort mode by the way 
away. Which is rather tame, but let's put it in sport mode. Definitely got some pops. than what it usually is so I'm liking the sound of this so far but I'll do a, a more full review at a later date gonna let it get broken in because it takes a few hundred miles for an exhaust to actually break in so I'm gonna let it do that properly but man this thing sounds good might let y'all hear a little highway pull once I get on but it's rush hour right now so we'll get back to that I lie. watch how it pops just in normal driving 2500 RPM. Reminds me of my Camaro. Love my Camaro exhaust and how it popped all the time. And this is just like that, but in a four cylinder form. And this makes it even more deeper, man. Gotta love that. Dang! <laughs> man, got me a mini Camaro now. Funny because it's on the stock too. Didn't do nothing. Oh, I said my truck messing up my highway pool. About to drop it down the first. All right, let me stop right here. Exhaust tips looks fantastic. I just got black to match the car. It's got the black accents already. Might as well just do that. It's the only one that really matched this color. I could have did chrome, but I like the look of black on there better. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think of my new Miltech exhaust. So I'm going to post a link to Miltech in the description. Also going to check out ARC. Going to list their website in the description. So they do modifications on vehicles as well as their dealership too. So huge shout out to How for giving me all straight today. So. Kudos to him. Got to bring the Miata back here shortly. But hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, follow the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.